I knew Doom Eternal had proven its point when I started taking down Marauders without even breaking a sweat. These terrifying devil-horned axe wielders had been life-threatening challenges when they were first introduced midway through the game, but a while later I was effortlessly throwing them aside in one-on-one -on -one duels. Doom Eternal not only retains the wild, high-speed, to the brink of death and back again ebb and flow of combat that its 2016 predecessor excelled at, it tweaks the formula to introduce more strategy, replayability, and ultimately satisfaction to this outstanding 15-plus hour first-person shooter campaign. Heads up, this review covers only the single-player campaign of Doom Eternal. The 2v1 multiplayer battle mode won't be available until launch on March 20th, so check back soon after that for our multiplayer review and final overall review. Some great games are clever exercises in thoughtful design, while others are dumb fun but Doom Eternal is the best of both. Before long, you'll be thrown into the meat grinder with dozens of Hell's denizens at once, including resurrected Doom 2 favorites not seen in the 2016 reboot. Old folks like me remember the Pain Elemental, a semi-dangerous, lost soul-spewing cousin of the Caco Demon, and the demon-buffing, pyromaniacal Archvile, which, as in 1994, is one of the biggest threats you have to beat down. And when you've got all those monsters gunning for you, Doom Eternal does something unexpected. It starts to get intellectual in the midst of its carnage. To be effective, you need to start to read the defense like a quarterback at the line of scrimmage, and timing is everything. On a basic level, it's the same game plan as Doom 2016 in that you can largely ignore the pissant zombies, soldiers, and imps at the start of a big fight. You might need to use them to farm for resources later. But in Eternal, many heavy-hitting demons like the Mancubus or Caco Demons have weak points you can exploit. This opens up a new level of finesse that rewards precision in the heat of battle rather than spraying everything with as much death as possible. Meanwhile, any foe can be torched with the new Flame Belch suit accessory, causing them to sweat armor shards to help you get ready for the next fight or save your bacon in the current one. Need ammo? If you can't find enough around the battlefield, the chainsaw isn't just a kill anything, get out of jail free card. It is once again one of the most fun weapons to use that also happens to be an ammo generator. It can put you back in the game after you've run dry and would otherwise be all but helpless. Collectively, these tweaks and additions are a refinement of the fantastic system that the previous Doom struck gold with, but they go a long way toward making the combat feel deeper and more multiple choice. The best new weapon, again echoing 1994's Doom 2, is the Super Shotgun. A double-barreled duck gun with a meat hook attachment that, in a fittingly doomy twist, brings you to the target for an in-your-face blast rather than the other way around. That allows for maximum damage from the short-range sawed-off's twin-shell blasts and also gives you even greater mobility. In all, there are enough new options that it seems like no two slayers will slay the exact same way, and that makes for some welcome water cooler talk with friends as well as genuine replayability. Speaking of secrets in traditional Doom fashion, Eternal is packed with them. Some tease you in plain sight and challenge you to reach them, while others are tucked cleverly out of the way. Most require your best double-jumping, air-dashing platforming skills in order to reach their location. Rewards range from upgrade points to collectible Funko Pop-like toys of each monster, and the search for them becomes something of a reward in and of itself because of how much fun it is to solve each secret's little puzzle. Not to mention how they serve as a refreshing cooldown period after you finish off another big combat bowl. Between missions, you'll return to the Fortress of Doom, an orbital man cave that's far too big and empty for what it actually offers, which isn't much aside from a literal man cave. But it does let you sample classic id software soundtracks from the past 25 years, and I recommend that you do. And yes, like its predecessor, there's an unexpected amount of actually respectable plot underneath all of the neck-snapping, eyeball-popping madness. 
Doom Eternal's story is surprisingly fleshed out, though unfortunately you have to read most of it in menu-based text logs instead of the dramatic, scenery-chewing performance it deserves. I was happy to follow along at first, but by the latter third of my quest to save Earth and all of mankind, I'd grown weary of reading log after log and just thirsted for more action. Add in Slayer Gates and secret timed encounters hidden in each level that serve up one-off rounds of extra challenge and extra reward, and simply put, Doom Eternal is one of the best first-person shooter campaigns I've played in years. As the second game of its kind, it's lost some of its novelty, but none of the joy of its intense and furious combat style. This excellent refinement of the already outstanding 2016 reboot makes you an unspoken deal. If you can keep up with it, it will keep up with you. It continually teaches you how to play faster, smarter, and more efficiently, with lots of options at every step of the way to tailor fights to your preferred slaying style, and it's an absolute blast along the way. For more on Doom Eternal, check out the first 10 minutes of the campaign or our full match battle mode gameplay video. And stay tuned for our multiplayer and final reviews next week right here on IGN.